Oh, so, uh, we're still alive, right? No. You're dead. Where are we? Are you guys okay? Is this a dream? Let's make sure our buddies are okay. Your understanding has increased. Wow, that's the first time I've ever heard of a skill called understanding. Nice! I think my butt's cracked now. Keep that to yourself, buddy. Of course it is! Whoa! Wh what now? Did you wet your pants? No, he already did that earlier. No, oh, stupid. Look around. Whoa! Looks like we're about to perform the best rock concert is of all time. This a, a studio? All this fog? Or, or is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no. But man, this place is huge. Like my dick! Sorry, I just had to say that. What are we gonna do? Let's look around. Let's go home? It's up to you. Let's be a boss. Let's look around. I make the decisions here. Huh? But but No butts. Unless it's your big Look, butt. We need to get home and Huh? Wait a minute. Which way did we come in from? I don't see a way in or out. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know! Don't ask me! I can't take this anymore! I wanna go home! Yo, yo, calm your bitchin', G.A. Calm your bitchin'! We'll find a way! Okay, so how? Let's calm down. Let's look for a way out, or we're doomed. Nah, we're never doomed. Let's look for a way out. Yeah, an exit. We need to find one. Let's calm down and think about this. All right, so we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? There has to be, or else this game wouldn't be so damn long. We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. Well, that's true, but... If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. Yeah, how about we stop talking and actually look around? That sounds like the best idea. I'm just saying. I mean, I've never heard of anyone escaping by just talking. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but... Damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but... We gotta trust our instinct a little. I know, but... It seems that there's no choice for now but to continue onward. Wow. Things escalated very quickly here. Shall we shag now in this bed or shall we shag later? Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? That's a nice bed. No service. What a surprise. In fact, that's a comfy ass bed. Can't you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. <gasps> what the? What? Whoa! Somebody is into some end. weird art There's shit. No exit. It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. This pants pissing motherfucker! My bladder's gonna explode! They just pee in the corner. Oh, Yosuke, what he are really you is. Doing? <laughs> I gotta let it out before I piss my pants. Fuck it, sometimes you just gotta let the snake out. You're going here? Oh, you have got to be kidding. Turn around, I can't go if everyone's watching. And no one's gonna see that tiny Japanese dick anyway. Do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. That's BS. If you really needed to pee, it would just come out. 
You don't even care if anybody's watching. Like I care. Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Yeah, this room is super, super creepy. Somebody must really hate this person. This chair and rope? That kind of arrangement is never good. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Huh. Come on, let's go back to where we came from and, and look somewhere else for an exit. That's actually pretty damn disturbing. All kidding aside, you never want to see a noose and a chair right there. I think I've seen that poster before. Who cares? Let's go! I am sick of this place. And I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. Your body does feel heavy. Could it be due to this place's oppressive atmosphere? Alright, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. They're talking about let's go and back, but they don't even know where they came from. We finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? There's something over there. Where? Over where? Hey, who are you? Show yourself! You big ugly fuck! What the hell is that? Koala panda what bear is thing? This thing? A, a monkey? A bear? Man bear pig? What in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? Who are we? Who are you? <gasps> it talked! Uh, what are you? You you wanna fight? Yeah, you wanna go? You wanna do the Texas tussle, buddy? Don't, don't yell at me like that. Aw, now I feel hella bad. I'm sorry. The bear is cowering in fear. Aw, I feel super bad now. Maybe it would be better to ask him nicely. Is this a dream? What are you? I'll ask what is this place. That's all I want to know. This place is what it is. It doesn't have a name. It's where I live. You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. I agree. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Yo, this mysterious bear is hella mad now. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What are you? Where are we? What the heck's going on here? Chie, calm your tits. See, now you scared him. I already told you. Mysterious bear is a little pussy bear. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit. Wait, what? Sweet. What the hell? TVs on TVs on TVs. Well, where did these TVs come from? Out your ass, Chie! Why do you keep asking all these damn questions? Okay, now go, go, get out of here! I'm a busy bear! Alright, you heard the man. Let's get out of here. What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? S stop pushing! I think he just molested us. Whoa, trippy. That was cool. Huh? Is this? Did we make it back? Attention shoppers. Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All 
all ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap, it's already that late? Huh. Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Oh, that poster. Hey, that girl what? in the kimono? They're the same. I, I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Miss Suzu Hiragi. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Oh, that's actually pretty damn creepy. Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Oh yeah, super, super creepy. Yeah, stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. I'm feeling a chill too. Let's go home. I want to lie down and rest. Hey, welcome home. You still feel sluggish. Um, well, I doubt you'd know. Well, you doubt I'd know you think I'm a dumbass? But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? Oh yeah, Saki Senpai, that sweet ass. Yeah, I know about Saki. What's up? What you know about that? She discovered the body. People feel sorry about her. She wasn't at school today. Yeah, let's tell him she wasn't at school today. Oh, I see. Why? What happened to her? What happened to Saki Senpai? Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. Oh, shit. We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. Oh, work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. That's where Yukuki works at. Yeah, it's the inn that Yukiko's family runs. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. The manager's teenage daughter also works there. And it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Uh, I see. Moving along, it's time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. The news continues. Just before the announcer was found dead, she was apparently staying at the Amagi Inn, run by Yukiko's family. And it seems the whereabouts of Saki Konishi, who discovered the body, are unknown. Is the ramen ready now? Damn, bitches out here getting killed and Nanako wants to eat some ramen? What a gangster! Give it some more time. <laughs> you sneezed. You feel a slight chill. Well, is anybody gonna bless me? Somebody bless my ass! Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? Seriously, nobody's gonna bless me! Fine, bless you! You should get to bed after you take it. Can't believe nobody blessed me! Oh, we never had Dojima down here. Let's talk to him. Let's converse with our uncle. You should go straight to bed tonight. A spring cold can be tough. Really? That's all you had to say? Oh my god, I should give you these nuts. Let's talk to Nanako. People who are sick should stay in bed. There's a fog today, so you should go to sleep early or you'll catch a cold. Too late, I already have one. 
Check it on the TV. You asked to not go to change to the forecast. The rain may stop from late night until early morning. Okay, can we go outside? Can't leave. Alright, let's go upstairs. Since we have a cold today. It would be best if you went to bed early today. Sleep. Let's go to sleep. Oh, it's Friday. TGIF. What's going on over here? Oh. Don't tell me that's Saki. Oh, don't tell me that's Saki. That was definitely a woman. I could tell. Unless men wear boots like that. Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. All right. Later, Onk. Have a nice day at work. Dojima left the house. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. Okay. Nanako looks worried. Does she ever not look worried? She looked like she was been worried since she came out the womb. You can hear girls gossiping. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. That's that's the respect they get. Her name is Red Umbrella Girl. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? You hear sirens nearby. It seems there's been an incident. Da, 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 da. You decide to head to school. Oh, I can't decide to follow the sirens? I want to know who that upside down dead woman was. It was definitely a woman. I know it was. Hey, did you see it yesterday? Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. You overhear people gossiping about something. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. I think this is about Saki, Everyone, huh? Please, settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. First, the principal has something to say. She still has that weird-ass hat on? Weirdo? I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. One of our third-year students, Ms. Saki Kunishi of Class 3... Oh, I already know. ...has passed away. Ooh. Passed away? Yusuke, I'm sorry, bro. That was your senpai. <sighs> Ms. Kunishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you as students of this school to provide only the facts. Damn, I feel bad, man. That's horrible. Alright, please quiet down. Like, I feel bad for Yusuke. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Found dead? How could this happen? <laughs> the principal's addresses continue. If that was my friend, I would have at least comforted him. You're just gonna let him sob like that? He's just like, huh? <gasps> she died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. It's gotta be a serial murder case. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that midnight channel thingy. They said she totally looked like she was in pain. 
Isn't that scary? <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Sheesh, it's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Hey, did you guys check out the TV last night? Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen, Saki-senpai. There's no mistaking it. No. Like, what the hell just happened? The music just got super cool. Ooh, yeah. Make you feel all good inside. But I forget, there's a story going on. The music just caught me off guard. It's so fucking awesome. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain. And then, she disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Well, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe, just maybe, but... Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died, too. What's that supposed to mean? Hold on, are you saying people who appear on that TV die? I can't say for sure. But something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. Uh... Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. And that room with the posters on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. Man, Yusuke is taking Saki Senpai's death pretty well. I thought he would be more sad than this, but he's more like detective investigative mode. I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Maybe, baby. Well, what do you think? You might be right. That's preposterous. I think he's right. I'm on his side. I got your back, Yusuke. So it's not just me, huh? If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. That would explain the posters in that room. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Alright, sounds like a plan. Yosuke, don't tell me- Chie, just shut- just shut up one time! We're gonna look in that room yeah. whether you like it or not, you bowl cut hair fuck! Going in again. I wanna find out for myself. Me too. D d don't do this. You should just let the police handle this, and- You think we can rely on the police? They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're gonna believe us. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just, I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. You know, he's doing this for love, and I respect that. I respect that. Oh, Yosuke. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry. But you're the only person who can help me. I don't worry, this guy got your back. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. Yusuke has asked you to take him into the TV world again. I can kinda understand how he feels. But we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. Well, if we find that cute little mysterious teddy bear, then I think we should be alright. What should we do? Go with Yusuke. Stop, Yusuke. Don't let Chie decide. She's a fuck girl right now. Let's go with Yusuke. Uh, you, you serious? Oh, I'm super serious. Uh, anyways, let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yusuke alone. Yes, let's do it. No more talking. Go. You guys came. We came to stop you, idiot! Come on, you really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. 
I know, but we were able to come back once, right? If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. Maybe isn't good enough. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. That's true, but... What about you? Could you just walk away? Nuh uh I want to go in the TV right now. Let's stop talking. I can't leave it alone. It doesn't involve me. I'm worried about Chie. I can't leave it alone. It's bothering me too, honestly. Yeah, I thought not. Damn, look at this music. They're playing hit after hit. I'm glad to know you're that kind of guy. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. Huh? What's that? A, a rope? Yeah, so we don't get sucked in and we could just pull our way out of here. We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. What? Then is this a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. Here. This is for you. <laughs> I like how he's saying my name. Here, Z, 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 Z. This is for you. Obtain golf club. Oh, yeah. Who needs a sword when you have a golf club? Obtain medicine times three. I thought it might be better than going in empty-handed. Thanks, buddy. All right, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. All right, ladies and gentlemen. You all ready for this? Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. All right, I'm ready. Hey, I said wait! Nope. Everybody sit down, relax, and enjoy, because I'm about to whoop some monkey ass, baby. Sit there while we go whoop some ass. I'm so ready for this. Yusuke and me are gonna be a great duo. Is this look? This is the same place as last time, so they are connected from place to place. You guys, why'd you come back? I get it. You're the ones behind this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill on the accusations there, buddy. You're that thing from last time. Wait, what the hell did you just say? Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. It's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. That means you're the most suspicious. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. Rawr! That's the least intimidating RAR I've ever heard in my damn life. Shut up. Get your ass up, boy. What are you talking about throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a... Wait a sec. All this talk about someone throwing people in here, does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Did that someone throw those two in here? Hey, what do you think? That must be it. They accidentally fell in? I don't know. How the fuck should I know? That must be it. I don't think they accidentally fell in. Come on now, nobody accidentally falls in anywhere. Yeah, I agree. Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here, intending to kill them? If that's the case... What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? It's a one-way door. You can't get out once you're in. Well, we came in here on the assumption that we're gonna whoop some monkey ass! Remember how I had to let you guys out? Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See, this time we have a life... Yeah, I don't what? think so. <laughs> hey, you better let us out once we're done investigating here. 
I'm the one who wants to investigate. Did Yusuke really think that rope thing was gonna work? I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. Proof? It doesn't work that way. SHUT UP! Nah, I'm not gonna tell him to shut up twice. Let's say it doesn't work that way. See? So it is, you guys! For the last time, it's not us, so we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up, because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. Ah, I get it. Huh? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it! If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here? Shadows get violent? That's why I said to hurry back, it's dangerous when that happens! Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it! You better stop, right now! Oh my god, stop accusing us and just let us explore! I told you and told you we're not the ones doing it! Man, Yusuke, let's just stop talking and whoop his bare ass. I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? Exactly. I'm just saying, you might be the culprits. You sound like a little bitch boy. Let's whoop his ass right now. I'm just making sure. What? Man, this bear is driving me nuts. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Oh, this must be where the Midnight Channel is filmed. Uh, I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Oh, it all makes sense now. Huh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. It's always been like this? What do you mean? Run that by me again? Oh god, no, we're not gonna run that by us again. Always been like this? Only me and Shadows are here, I told you before! Look, we don't know what these Shadow things are, or what you are either for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe you're the real culprit. Yeah. And what's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face! I think we should break his fucking legs! Do it, Yusuke! Un there's a zipper in the- What? What the- Whoa. Maybe that really is his face. What the hell are you? It it's empty inside. I think you just ripped off his face, dude. <laughs> I think that is his face. Me? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. I just live here. Sure. I just want to live here peacefully. <sighs> okay, I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. Thank God. But I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. Promise me. Or else. Well, you want me to pinky swear? Will you want me to do dick swear? I'm not going to let you guys out of here. And don't ask me what dick swearing is. It's just like pinky swearing, but with... Never mind. You little... This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then... And then... I... <laughs> Shut up! What are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. The mysterious bear is asking you to find the culprit behind this. Someone on the outside is throwing people into this world. If the culprit isn't you, he wants you to find the real culprit. The mysterious bear seems serious about this. 
Hey, what should we do? You remember the words of the mysterious old man who called himself Igor? It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. Could this be the mystery that will be thrust upon you? What was the contract Igor spoke of? Could finding the culprit and solving the case be part of this promise? In any case, since you cannot leave the TV world on your own, there seems to be no other option. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? I promise. Thank you! No problem! Damn bear. Practically holding a gun to our heads. But it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. Look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word, too. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. Yeah, don't ask. You got a name? Teddy. Teddy! Wow, I would have never guessed. <laughs> Figures. But how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. The last person? You mean Saki-senpai? Saki-senpai, baby. I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. I'll take you there. You might find clues. Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. What are you about to give us? Glasses? We're not hipsters! What are these glasses for? Oh, wow. We can see things in color? Your vision instantly becomes much clearer. Oh, ain't that ass thing. Whoa! The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. They'll help you walk through the fog. Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. Oh, pussy boy. What happened to relying on you? Th there better not be any monsters, you understand? We brought weapons, but I mean... They're more for show. Yeah, golf clubs, definitely for show. We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh-uh, no way. I've got no muscles. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. Oh, yeah, like that's really gonna help. How's that sound? Sounds horrible. Can Teddy really not fight? Try touching Teddy. Try pushing Teddy. Try hitting Teddy. Yeah! <laughs> Punch his ass! Ooh! Okay, he really can't fight. No! Is this thing for real? Uh, this is so lame. We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get? Oh, yeah. Can I ask you something? Who's this Saki Senpai person? Someone you know? That doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know Senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information too. Let's get moving. Yes, I agree. Wait! What is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. What's going on here? Some weird places have appeared here recently. Things are getting so tangled, I don't know what to do. Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. <laughs> of course not. I mean, uh, I can't stand too close, you know, I'd get in your way. I don't believe that. I don't believe that one bit. I saw his eyes change. They went from real small to just super big. That's when you know someone's lying to you. <sighs> Man, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? How should I know? This is reality for the one who's here. 
As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. I'm pretty sure it's gonna make sense real soon. But if this is our shopping district, we're not far from Saki Senpai. Let's go. Let's get our Saki Senpai. I knew it. This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? What could have happened? Wait a second, they're here! They're here? Who is they? And why are what? they here? Shadows! I had a feeling they were going to attack! Oh, shoot, skis. Yeah, that look. You know that look. He's about to get gangster. So. No. Oh yeah. He said, "Oh, so no. Let's go. Let's go." 